relations for Algebra 1. Relations are a set of inputs and outputs, usually written as an ordered pair, um, for example, x, y. There are three different ways, um, three major ways that you can sort of show relations visually. And those ways are, first, you can show an arrow diagram, like this. You'd show numbers inside of the first circle or the second circle, maybe squares or rectangles or whatever you want. But this relation, then, is 5, 7, 3, negative 2, negative 4, 4, and 8, 9. That would be the relation here, shown by this arrow diagram. The second way would be in a table where you would list all of the x values, probably, usually x values are on the left, y values on the right, and so this would be 2, 4, negative 2, 5, and 4, negative 6. That would be this table of values here. And the third way that you can often see relations are in a graph, where you'll have a point here, and you would give your x value first, in this case it would be like 0.7 or something, and then your y value, which would be like 2 and a half. Okay? So this one would be 0.7 and 2.7 and then almost 2 and a little over 3. So those would be the relations. We'll practice a little bit for each of these. But that's the basic big idea with relations. Within a relation, there are two parts, like I said, the x and the y. The x is called the domain, and the y is called the range. So let's identify the domain and the range for these three relations that we have here. Our first relation, we have the domains, that would be our x values, of 5, 3, negative 4, and 8. So we can write our answer. Our answer will look a lot like a set, okay? Negative 4, 8. So it can look like that. And then our range would be the y values, or in this case, 4, 7, 9, and negative 2. Usually what you will do when we're writing the domain and range, I just want to point this out, is that we will write them in chronological order. So we wouldn't write it 5, 3, negative 4, 8. Instead, we would write it actually as negative 4, 3, 5, 8. All right, we just take the same numbers, but just arrange them in chronological order. So that would be the proper way to actually list our domain. And we're going to do the same thing with our range. We're going to put it in the proper order. So it'll be negative 2, 4, 7, 9. All right, that's just the generally accepted proper format of putting items in a list like this. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our domain and range of this table. What's the domain or the x values? I'll list them here, and I'm going to go ahead and start by listing them in their chronological order, two, negative 2, 2, and 4. Is that what you got for your domain? That should be what you have. And for your range, what would you have? If you had negative 6, 4, and 5 as your range or your y values, then that's correct. That's your domain and your range. How about our, our graph here? In our graph, I've gone ahead on this one and actually made them line up. So they're going to be nice, even numbers, um, whole numbers, thank goodness. OK, so our domain or our x values for this graph would be 1, 2, and 3. All right, we go along our x-axis here, and we see that the first one is at 1, the second one is at 2, and the third one is at 3. For our range, we will then go on our y-axis, and again, start at the bottom. So our first one we'd hit would be 1. The next one we'll hit is 3. And the final one is 4. All right. So that's the way that we would identify our domain or the range inside of relations. Let's look at one more set of practice questions here, identifying domain and range. And this is the first time I've 
shown this type. This is how you would list a relation. This is the way that we would show the full relation. So the relation of negative 1, 2, 0, 5, 3, 8, and 5, 9. All right? So that is how you would list an entire relation right, of several sets of ordered pairs together in the xy format. So if we're going to identify the domain of this, then what we would do is list, again in chronological order, all of the x values. So negative 1, 1, 0, 3, and 5. And those values will show you exactly where they came from. I just took the x values in these ordered pairs. There we go, negative 1, 0, 3, and 5. That is the domain of these ordered pairs. The next question asks us to find the range of these ordered pairs. So I can go ahead and highlight those. I'll use a different color just to 5, 3, 1, and negative 1. And because we're writing them in chronological order, the way we would write this is actually opposite of what is listed there. We would say negative 1, 1, 3, and 5. That is just about everything you need to know. <laughs> Not really. Um, but that's a good introduction to relations and a nice review. So if you do have any more questions, make sure to contact your math teacher. And I hope that this has been helpful. Have a wonderful day.